In this video, I'll be talking about transport in plants. First, let's look at the xylem vessel. So, xylem vessel transport water and mineral ions in one direction, from the roots to the leaves. Xylem vessels are made of hollow dead cells joined end to end and they do not have cytoplasm or nuclear. And their cell walls are made out of cellulose and lignin. Next, we'll be talking about the phloem tube, which transports sucrose and amino acids from leaves to the roots and flowers. They are made of cells joined end to end that aren't completely broken down, which form sieve plates. And these cells are called sieve tube elements. Sieve tube elements contain cytoplasm but no nucleus, and each sieve tube element has a companion cell next to it which has a nucleus and other organelles that supply the sieve tube elements with their requirements. And then we have the vascular bundles, which is a group of xylem vessels and phloem tubes. In a root, it is found at the center, and in a shoot or a stem, it is arranged in a ring near the outer edge. So here's a diagram of the vascular bundles, and on the left you have the shoot or the stem, and on the right you have the root. Moving on, we'll be talking about water uptake. So plants take in water from the soil through the roots, which absorb water and mineral ions by osmosis. The root cap is at the tip of the root that protects it as it grows, while the rest of the root is covered by a layer of cells called the epidermis, which is constantly being replaced. And now we'll be looking into the adaptations of plants for water uptake. So first we have root hair cells that provide a large surface area which increases the rate of water uptake, hollow narrow xylem vessels which acts as an easy pathway for water, many air spaces in leaf which speed up water flow in plants, and stomata which allows water vapour to diffuse easily. So there are two main properties of water in the xylem vessels which are cohesion, which is when water molecules stick together, and adhesion, which is when water molecules stick to the inside of the xylem vessels. Next we'll be looking into some important definitions. So transpiration is the loss of water from plant leaves by evaporation of water at the surface of the metaphor cells and the loss of water vapor by diffusion through the stomata. Transpiration stream is when water is constantly being taken to supply cells in the leaves, which reduces pressure at the top of the xylem vessel and causes a pull. And what are the factors affecting transpiration? They are temperature, humidity, wind speed, light intensity, and water supply. You could also measure the rate of transpiration using a potometer and this is what it's supposed to look like. Next we have a translocation, which is the movement of sucrose and amino acids in phloem from the source where it is produced to the sink where it is being utilized or stored. Finally, let's look at the uses of sucrose. So, it is broken down by enzyme to glucose for respiration. It is changed to starch for storage. It is used to make cellulose for new cell walls. And it is also stored in fruits to make them sweet and attract animals.